Hi friends, this is MD Vegan, a new year has broken, <laughs> 2018, my first video, and I'm going to refine a recipe that I have uh, the other year, I mean, maybe two years ago, I don't know, it was a very simple one, um, I didn't really know, but it's amazing, I mean, the flavor of, of almonds and, and, and lime, you know, this is really something I don't know, it's an intuition. It came to, came to me all of a sudden and I wanted to have this flavor. And I tried, I was amazed. But um, I had to do some refinements here because just blending the almonds makes them a little bit, uh, yeah, gross. Now, the dressing is not like almond milk, very fine and milky, creamy, but gross with a little almond um, particles in it. And um, the line of the flavor is just unbeatable together with lemon, with almond. So um, I had to find something, how to prepare this in, a, in an appropriate way. So first I will blend the almonds. It's a cup. It's pretty nice. These new uh, little um, bowls, they just contain one cup. And I have one cup here and one um, lime, one whole lime. It's a medium lime and you see half of the lime has the peel on, yeah, and the other half without the peel. I mean, that's up to you how you strong in the flavor of the, the dressing. But one important thing for this dressing is that you give it a lot of flavor because the almond and lime flavor for itself is very nice. It's wonderful. You have to try it. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. But if for a salad, you know, a salad dressing, you need to over season a little bit. Yeah. You need a little bit more spices. And so I put the peel on and put a little bit more of lime. So it need to be sour, this dressing, strong and sour and then sharp. You know, that's really important because the almonds are very gentle on the flavor and the lime has something, something strong in there, but it needs to be heightened a little bit. That's, I made some dressings and some salads with this kind of, 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 of base and I always noticed there's missing something, it has to be more strength in it. So um, this is the base, yeah. Uh, almond and lime and the third ingredient today is a chili pepper yeah this is a little bit large for the whole thing uh, is a little bit too much I guess but it needs also a lot of hot um, spice in there it's really true so just cut it in half see? and you see the little I show you usually what we do in the when we, when we in the kitchen work with chili peppers you see we have these um, little seeds in there these are only not so many seeds here yeah, in this case, but if you have more, you should consider taking them out. But as it's a dressing and it has to be strong, um, I put the whole seed in, the whole uh, half of a large chili pepper, and this one is not too hot. There are chili peppers that are very hot, and you cannot eat them. It's almost impossible. Or we have to be Mexican, or maybe Indian, or I know, but. Usually you want to have a little um, um, smaller pepper and you taste it before you use it. Best way you ask your dealer in the, the grocery store how hot they are and they, he, will, he will know usually and then you can decide how much you use and you can taste a little at home how much you would use. But be very careful. But you have to be strong here. It has to be a strong flavor in the dressing because it's a dressing. So I repeat, one cup almonds, one whole lime, and half of the lime peeled, the other half not peeled, half of a large, not too hot chili pepper with the seeds. And I begin with a small amount of water. It's also important. Yeah. I'll tell you, I tell you after the blender dance, I will tell you why it's important to begin with a little bit of water here, especially here with the almonds. Blender dance on. <laughs> I love my blender dance 
and it, it corresponds to the sound of the blender. Did you notice? First the blender is very rough, woo, woo, and then it gets smoother, woo, it's done. So my blender dance adjusts to that. It's so nice. Yeah, I love my blender dance. Okay. <laughs> so, that was the first step, the first blend. I have to taste it to make sure it has the right flavor. It has to be strong. Mm. Mm. Another try. Maybe it's missing something. Let's see. No. Needs more. So first, I put the rest of the chili pepper in there too. And the green doesn't matter now. It's washed, it's healthy, it's organic, no problem. And here I have some of my peel. I've left that over. So I put the whole peel in. And I made another lime here. I have to use more lime, so that's for sure. But I don't use more peel. I have, so I have one lime with the peel complete and another half lime without the peel. I will cut the peel off very easy because I, I miss the flavor of the of the of the lime in my in my dressing. Definitely too little, and that's the important thing. You have to you have to have a plenty of, of the flavor with each ingredient. You have to feel it. That's that's important. Otherwise, the dressing will on the salad will be nothing. You will taste it and say, "Oh, where is the flavor?" That's nice, but not nice. So you, you have to really, have, that's, that's important. I, I stress it because it's really important. <laughs> Believe me, <laughs> I tried it. for sure it's too thick now I have to use more water but first the flavor the, the intensity mm -hmm. okay I would say no more peel but more of the lime more acidity you have two components of the flavor in a citrus always it is the acidity the sour flavor and the flavor of the fruit that is in the peel. So the acidity, the sourness, is in the fruit inside. And the peel has the special flavor of the fruit. So you need this for the flavor of the fruit and this for the acidity, for the sour flavor. He needs more sour flavor for sure. And I tell you what, it may sound crazy, but I will we'll just put another, another one in without the peel. So now I have um, one whole lime with a peel and two limes peeled in one cup of almonds and one whole chili pepper. Yes, I'm afraid it's true. It has to be done. More water. It should be good. One more blender dance. Let's see. <laughs> for a while as a stabilizer um, so I don't want to put uh, 
in the smooth in my mouth, spoon in my mouth, and in, in, in the breathing again, that would then it would uh, waste, and I couldn't offer it to my friends anymore when they come to visit. I offer them some food. So always take clean spoons, that's better for the keeping in the fridge. Mmm. Now it begins to taste like a dressing. And yeah. And maybe even more chili. But that's up to you. So now I put the whole water in to make it more runny. And now I tell you why I put the water in that's later, later more. Um, I begin with a small amount of water because the almonds, when you blend them, especially without soaking, you can soak them before, it would be easier. But when you blend them without the soaking, um, and um, after the blending, it seems to be creamy, but they will uh, soak a little bit after the blending when the dressing, dressing sits, especially in the fridge. And then you have to blend it again after a while, and maybe, maybe you put it in the fridge and sit for a day or two, and then you have to blend it again and again, because it always turns gross a little bit more. Because it sits there in the water, in the dressing, and the almonds will always soak and get a little bit more gross. So then blending it second time helps a lot to get it more creamy. Yeah, that, that's, that's the trick, that's what I want to tell you. chili, but that's totally up to you. The idea is clear. Almonds, lime and chili. May I show you what the dressing looks like? It runs into the glass. It's a nice creamy dressing. And will firm up a little bit more in the fridge. It sits there. And remember, I would recommend for you um, to blend it before you use it in the salad one more time after having now let it sit, and then it is a wonderful creaminess you have. Kindly enjoy, and uh, feel free to give comment, subscribe on MD Vegan on YouTube, have another recipe every single day, and you can even push the bell button on the YouTube channel, and you will be notified with an email. See you soon.